Good evening, girls. Hello, Cecilia. Hi, Jennifer. Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello, good night. Hi, good evening. How are you, Jennifer? Good evening. I'm fine, and you? Nice. I'm pretty good, too. How was your weekend? A little um, different, right? <laughs> yes. A little... Yes, at home. Ah, okay, but what about what about cooking? You know, I see my Facebook, in my contacts, in different social nets that people are cooking a lot. You know, exotic food, very nice <laughs> dishes. So, what about you? Do you cook? Uh, just sometimes. Right now. I don't like cooking. Ah, you don't like cooking? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, okay. So you are deception. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who cooks in your house? Uh, I live alone. Oh, oh really? Yes. You so know, Maruchan, Campero. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, really. Because no. my work, I don't have a lot of time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I can infer you are you are single. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. I, ah, I thought you 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 lived uh, with your mom and your dad. So what no, about no. what about in this quarantine? You are alone. At home? Right now, yes, in Santa Tecla. Oh, right right now, I'm in Santa Tecla. Ah, okay, so we are close. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I live I live here in Santa Tecla too. Ah, okay. Wow, Jennifer, that's nice. Very interesting, huh? So you don't cook, you ask for delivery. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, but you know, yes, I understand. It's you not look at cereal. Mm -hmm. Okay, cereal, uh, maruchan soups. Uh, yes. What's the other one? Uh, natura beans. <laughs> natura beans. Natura beans. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, good. Very nice, nice, nice. Ceci, okay, good evening. Beatriz, Alegria, Jader, they are joining our class. Very nice, guys, to have you back. Okay, very nice to see you after uh, three days, right? After three days, that's it. Um, on weekends, I had a, a conversation with a partner, okay, of you that had problems in the platform. I could help her. I could, uh, you know, like um, motivate that person to, to finish the section one. So I hope everybody until now, you know, have finished section number one, okay? Because today we are going to continue, but we are going to move a little bit to section number two, okay? This is what we're going to study. And remember, if you have problems, say, related to, you know, your grammar okay punctuation or something may be difficult for you let me know okay that's why i'm here to assist you to help you any moment okay that's it so i'm pretty happy to have you here now we have joanna good evening joanna we have jader karina hernandez Sumara. okay hello good evening hi teacher guys hi how are you joanna i'm fine ready to sleep or you have insomnia? Um, no, ready, ready to sleep. Ready to sleep after the class, right? Ah, okay, <laughs> nice. What about you guys? Do you, do you, I don't know if because of the times, you know, with these problems that we are having. At the beginning, I had insomnia. I went to bed about 2, 2 a.m. in the morning. I don't know if you had this problem. Hugo, good evening. Hugo is here joining us, okay. So this is very hard, okay? Today, this is what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna uh, learn how to give advice, okay? Related to problems. And uh, um, this is what the class is going to be about, okay? That's it. We're going to start, okay? I'm gonna present to you the, the vocabulary, okay? Some of you maybe know this because this is like a, a kind of review, okay? A review from a topic. Okay, what do I have here? Okay, I have here uh, health problems. Okay, this is what we're going to study today. Then we have going to see the doctor. 
Okay, this is the question. How are you feeling? This is like, ¿cómo te sentís, right? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? What seems to be the problem? This is other question. You know, we have uh, this uh, question, how are you feeling? This is like, okay. And the other uh, question that the doctor may ask you, what seems to be the problem? Okay, this is other. And then we start with the vocabulary, okay? I have missless, okay, missless. In this case, look, look at the, the picture, right? Then we're gonna check the vocabulary. I feel round down, okay? Look at this, like very tired, round down. I feel round down. I have another one. I have temperature. I have temperature. This is a other a health problem. This one is, I have a broken arm, broken arm, okay? This is other health problem. This is, I feel sick, that's it. This is like when you don't feel well, right? I feel sick. Teacher, I feel sick, I'm sorry. I got a cold. I got a, I got a cold, okay? This is very common nowadays because it's raining, okay? I got a headache, headache, when you have problems, oh, dolor de cabeza, right? Headache, headache. I feel dizzy, dizzy, okay? This is the pronunciation, dizzy. The other one, okay, is toothache. I have a toothache, I have a toothache, okay? So you need to see the dentist. This one, I have an allergy. I have an allergy, maybe when you eat fish or you eat Chinese food, right? This is, I got a cough. The pronunciation here is cough, cough. I got a cough, okay, next, okay, this is I have a cramp, what we call calambre, okay? I have a cramp, I have a cramp, that's it. This is, I got an earache, earache, dolor de oídos, earache, okay? Earache, okay, next, I got a sore throat, sore. Sore throat, dolor de garganta, sore throat. This is backache, backache. I got a backache, okay? Dolor de espalda, I got a backache. Next, I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. This is other hair problem and very common. I got a sore finger, un dedo con eh, adolorido, right? Maybe in this case because the person cut the finger. Ah, when you go to the beach, I got a sunburn, okay? Sunburn, sunburn. I got asthma, okay? This is other hair problem, asthma. That's it, I got, I got, a, I got asthma, okay? This one, I got a stiff neck, stiff neck. In Spanish, we say torticulis, okay? Stiff neck, problem in your neck. The person or the people who cook, okay? I cut my finger, right? This is like when you, um, when you are a, in this case, cooking, okay? I cut my finger, okay? So this is what we're gonna do, uh, guys. The idea is to practice right now the, um, the information that we have here to practice the vocabulary, okay? Because this is what we have. So I will ask, uh, for example, okay, Yader. I will ask Yader, hello, Yader. Hello. Hello, evening. Yader. Can you please uh, give me the, the pronunciation for some words? Okay, for example, this one. Read this one. Okay, read it, please. I have 
Leslie. Miss Les, uh huh. Very good. What about this one? I feel round down. Round down, excellent. Very good. And this one, please, the other one. I have temperature. Excellent. I have temperature. Okay, thank you very much. Beatriz okay. Alegría, please, you continue with the others. Beatriz, hello. Okay. Hi, okay. Hello. Continue, Beatriz. Uh, I have temperature. It was from ya there. Now continue with this one, please. I have a broken arm. Very good. Continue. I feel sick. Great. Number three. I've got a cold. Excellent, okay. I got a cold. Very good, okay. We continue with Cecilia Fuentes, please. Okay, Ceci, can you please help me to pronounce the following sentences? Okay. Thank you, Beatriz. Okay, Cecilia, continue. I got a, I got a headache. Aha, uh -huh, headache, excellent. Mm -hmm. Continue. I feel dizzy. Very good. I have a toothache. Uh -huh, toothache. 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 Uh -huh, tooth. Toothache. Okay. This one? Uh, I have an um, allergy. Allergy. Very good. Allergy. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now let me ask uh, Joanna, please. Okay. Joanna, continue with the other pronunciations. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I've got a cold. Mm -hmm. Cough. 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 Uh -huh. Like F. Okay, cough. Okay. Okay, continue. I have a, a cramp. A cramp. Very good. I said this is like a um, calambre. Okay. Calambre. Next. I've got an earache. Okay, repeat. Earache. Earache. Excellent. Okay, very good. Eric, very good. Thank you very much. Hugo, can you help me with the next uh, pictures? Okay. okay. Okay, Hugo. Okay, go ahead. I got a sore throat. Mm -hmm. Sore throat. Sore throat. Mm -hmm. Next. I got a backache. Uh -huh. Backache. Bucket. Okay, backache. I've got a bucket. Excellent, very good. Next, Hugo. I have a stomachache. Excellent, very good. I have a stomachache, okay. Okay, very nice. Okay, now we start with uh, Juan Carlos. Thank you very much, Hugo. Juan Carlos, now your opportunity for pronouncing, please. Pronounce the words. Go ahead. I got a, a sore fish. Uh -huh. Finger. Finger. Uh -huh. Very I, good. Next. I, I got a sunboy. Uh -huh. Sun. Samba. Sunburn. Sunburn. Excellent. Very good. Next, please, Juan Carlos. I got a asthma. Asthma. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Karina you. Hernandez, can you help me with the next uh, vocabulary, please? Karina, are you there? Yes. yes, yes. Okay, very good, Karina. This is for you. I got a stiff neck. Stiff neck, very good. Torticulis, right? Stiff neck, very good. Next, Kari. I cut my finger. Exactly. I cut. Cut. I cut my finger. Okay, very, very, very good. Okay, this is the vocabulary that we're going to be practicing uh, in this um, class, okay? I don't know if you have questions with vocabulary, if you have a problem, uh, you know, with expressions or words. I don't know if, for example, I cut my finger, right? This is like Mary, okay? Or, Hierro el dedo. In this case, stiff neck, I said it is stiff neck, torticulis, when we say that, or in la, in la, in la, la nuca, okay, el cuello. I got asthma, okay, asthma. 
eh, sunburn, ok, this is eh, una quemada de sol, ok, when you go to the beach or when you are in your house, in the patio, etc., and you don't apply anything on your skin. Hoy no As, se puede ir a la playa a quemarse. No, 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 now it's prohibited. <laughs> now it's on the, only in the patio, ok. A sore finger, un dolor, ok, en sus dedos, right? A sore finger, stomachache, dolor de estómago, right? Stomachache, ok, backache, dolor de espalda, backache, ok, sore throat, sore throat, dolor de garganta, ok, earache, dolor de oído, ear, oído, earache, Dolor de oído. Cramp. Cramp. Ok. Un calambre. Ok. Or sometimes las chicas cuando tiene el periodo, por ejemplo, decimos tengo unos, ¿cómo decimos Andrea? Unos. Eh, cólicos. Ajá, cólicos o dolor de vientre. Right? So it's not necessary to say calambre, pero decimos I have cramps. Ok. Okay, so you can use this for, for your period too. Okay, cramp. That's it. Next, a cough. The pronunciation. Cough, like F. Cough, okay? Este es, tengo tos, okay? I got a cough. Que ahora no es tan bonito tener tos porque piensan que es coronavirus, okay? I got a cough, okay? This is the pronunciation. Allergy. Allergy, okay. Toothache, tooth, tooth, diente, dolor de muela, dolor de dientes, right? Toothache, that's it. Dizzy, dizzy, I feel dizzy, me siento mareada o mareado, right? I got a headache, headache, okay. I got a cold, tengo un resfriado, right? I got a cold. A cold, okay? I feel sick. That's it. I have a broken arm. Tengo un brazo quebrado, right? Okay, a broken arm. Eh, I have temperature. Temperature. Temperatura. I feel round down. Eso es otra forma de decir exhausted, okay? Ah, very exhausted or stressed, okay? I feel round down. I have messless. This is sarampion. Okay, this is maybe vocabulary, which is new for you. Messless, okay. And this question is, what seems to be the problem? This is, ¿y qué, qué tenés de mal? ¿Qué, ¿Cuál cree que puede ser el problema? Okay, how are you feeling? This is other question, okay. How are you feeling? Okay, oh, I feel good. I feel sick. I have temperature, etc. Okay, and the expression going to the doctor. Okay, that's it. The question that we're gonna be, uh, or, or I'm sorry, the objective for today's class is to know vocabulary related to health problems, but also to learn how to give suggestions. Okay, how to give recommendations when you are having a problem. Okay. That's it. Any questions so far? Questions, questions related to the vocabulary? No, Edgar, questions? I have a question, teacher. Okay, go ahead, ask. Uh, it's about, uh, I have measles. Uh -huh. so this is, uh, yo tengo sarampión, entonces. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. And there is the other expression. Está la otra expresión que la vieron, que es, I gotta. Yeah, if you if you could see, uh, let me let me tell you. Okay, let me share with you. This is important, ah, huh? because sometimes you are reading, si lo leen y dicen y qué es eso, right? So, pregunten, no hay tengan pena, okay? I have, okay. This is American English, okay? This is American English when you know uh, I have, for example, I have a sister, I have a dog, 
Okay, I have Miss Liz, okay, in this case, but look at the other expression. I got, you see this? Es como que quiere decir, I got. I, I, got. I got, I got, I iPhone. I got an iPhone, exactly. This is, I have, my friends, but this is in British, okay? British English, okay? That's it. Um, conozco muchas personas que a veces dicen, ay, ¿por qué me enseñan británicos? Y yo, la idea es aprender de todo, okay? It's not just American, okay? Why? If you travel to United States, in the United States, there are people around the world. It's not just American people living in America. No, there are British people, people from Japan, people from Australia, uh, people from India, uh, Thailand, etc. So they have different Englishes, right? So that's why it's a good idea to know different expressions, okay? So if you want to say, I teacher, I got a headache. No tengan miedo de decir, I have a headache, okay? Because it's the same. That's it. So that's why we say, I got, I have, okay? I have a sister, I got a, yeah? solo que aquí le agrego, okay? I have a sister and I got a sister, no se les olvide la cuando vaya a ser singular. For example, there, eh, Juan Carlos said, I have an iPhone, I got an iPhone. I got an iPhone, okay? That's it. So this is lo mismo que decir tengo sarampión, I have missless or I got missless, okay? That's it. Other question? If you have a question related to vocabulary or expressions? No? Edgar, questions? Yeah, there? No? Karina, Andrea? No. No, that's okay. Okay, no very good. Just in case you have questions, let me know, okay? Raise your hand and or interrupt me and I will be, okay, ready to assist you. So, the name of the section two is It Really Works, okay? What is the objective for today? To learn vocabulary for common health problems, okay? Common health problems as well as listen to a conversation where these words will be practiced, okay? So, how do we put into practice the vocabulary that we have? So, this is the, the conversation, okay, that I have for today because you're gonna practice the conversation with your partners as well. Okay, um, I'm gonna share uh, the audio on my computer so you can listen to the conversation. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, exercise two, conversation. Health problems. Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck! That sounds awful. Second time and then we, we check pronunciation together. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, Exercise 2, Conversation, Health Problems, Part A, Listen and Practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. 
Okay, that's it. This is the conversation. So we can have here the terrible cold, okay? And how to give advice in this case, recommendations. Hi, Craig, how are you? Not so good. So when you're not feeling good, you don't say fine. No, it's not so good. Oh, I feel terrible. And then he say, I have a terrible cold. Really, that's too bad. You should be at home in bed. Should, we have the modal should again for giving recommendation, remember. It re it's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Sopa de, de que sería, imagínense que cuando tienen eh, gripe. Ajo. Ah, ajo. sopa de ajo, ok. So, teacher, y no se dice drink. No, aunque sea bebida, aunque sea líquido, en inglés you say, la sopa es it, ok. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up, chop up. This is the verb picar, ok. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cooking and chicken stock, ok. So, una cabeza de ajo en una su sopita concentrada de pollo, right? Ok, try it, intentalo, hacelo. Y se le, try y se it. le, dice, y se le dice adiós lombrice. Oh, oh, yeah, for, <laughs> it has two purposes, <laughs> two purposes. It really works, miren, funciona. This is the expression if you want to say in English, hey, eso funciona, right? So you say, it really works, ok, it really works. And then say, Jack, this is the expression, wakala, ok, Jack, that sounds awful, repeat, awful, ok. I'm going to say awful, no, awful. It sounds awful, okay? That's it. This is the, the conversation that you're going to practice. Today, I'm going to choose two volunteers. I will ask uh, Beatriz Alegría, okay? And Edgar. Okay, Edgar, are you there? Yes, teacher. I yes, do. of course. Okay, you are Craig, Edgar. Craig. Okay. okay? And then my friend... Uh, Beatriz, you are Joan, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Craig. How are you? Uh, not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's so bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you have a right. And have you taken anything for it? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, it's something helpful, helpful to eat garlic soup. You chop up a whole head of garlic and cook, cooking in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that's so awful. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Just here, um, Beatriz, aquí donde dijo la sopa. Eat garlic soup. Okay, if you say soap, it's jabón, okay? Y ahí sí, ya es asqueroso, <laughs> el jabón de ajo. Okay, very good. Karina, okay, Karina, you are gonna, you are gonna work, okay, uh, with uh, Jennifer. Okay, hi. Okay, Karina, you start, Jennifer continues. Hi, Kai, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken any for you? No, I haven't. Well, in some way, help you help you to get harvest soup. You should be to chew up a wall head of carbon and cook in okay. kitchen and stew, try it. You, that sounds awful. Okay, very good. Okay, and, and chicken stock. Uh huh. Try it. You're, okay, that sounds awful. Okay, very, very good. 
Okay, next, I need all the two volunteers, please. Two volunteers who want to participate. Two people for Joan and Craig. <coughs> Yo, teacher. Okay, Yo, Andrea. Andrea. Okay, Andrea and me. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just, just shot out a well hair of garlic and cut in a chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Try it, try it. Right. Jack, mm -hmm. that sounds so awful. Okay, very good. Jack, if that sounds awful. Okay, very, very, very good. That's it. In this case, hay un verbo que está compuesto. Aquí de un solo leanlo rápido. Chop up. Okay? Just chop up a whole, chop up a whole head. Chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it. Cook it in, cook it in, and cook it in chicken stock. Okay? And cook it in chicken stock. Try it. Okay? Very, very good. So, next, look, this is what we're going to do. This is the question, what should I do for a call? Maybe if you have a problem. This is the example. What should I do for a call? Then, my friends, for giving advice, we are going to learn these three um, expressions. So, son memorizadas, okay? It's important. It's important important second one it's sometimes helpful it's sometimes helpful number three it's a good idea it's a good idea después de estas tres frases siempre póngameles el infinitivo y que es el infinitivo teacher es ponerle el tú y el verbo en su forma original okay it's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Okay? For example, this is an example. Yader, I'm going to ask you a question, Yader. Can you help me, please, with the exercise? Okay. Okay, Yader, listen to the question. Yader, what should I do for a stomachache? So uh, I want you to give me recommendation, Yader, but I want you to use uh, two expressions. I'm going to ask you for two recommendations, please. It's a good idea to take, um, to take... Give me yeah. real, real examples, huh? Eh? If you me have me a... Cosa mora, rosadita, no sé cómo se llama. Oh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Eh, yeah, thank you, Edgar. Pepto-bismol. Pepto uh -huh. It's a good idea to taste uh, Pepto-bismol. Oh, okay, very good. Uh -huh. And give me other, please. It's a good idea to eat uh, hot uh, water. I uh, don't know. To drink. Sí, to drink. Hot water. Oh, really? When you have a stomachache? I don't know. I remember in... Your grandma told you. I hear... It. Ah, okay, very good. That you see, home remedies, what we call home remedies, right? Because if you have a stomachache, it says it's important to go to the doctor. No, sometimes we don't have the time and the money to go to the doctor just for a stomachache, right? Okay, excellent, Yader. Thank you very much. Now I will ask for other volunteer, Omar. Okay, Omar, I see you are here, Omar. Hello, Omar. Hello, teacher. Okay, now listen to my question, Omar. Omar, what should I do for a toothache? Ah, what should I do for a toothache? Give me two recommendations, please. You should go to the uh, doctor. Visit okay. The, doctor and the dentist, in this case, the dentist. Dentist, okay. Uh -huh. 
for more specific. Ah, okay. Uh, you should um, to take a, a lot of water. Okay, uh, water or water? Water. Ah, water. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Now, give me Omar with this expression. It's important, it's sometimes helpful, or it's a good idea. Using the uh, three expressions, okay. Yes, Omar, but your answer is perfect. Your answer is perfect. So, no es necesario que solo digan you should, you should, no. But we are learning more expressions, okay? That's what I want you to practice. For example, dígame, es importante ir al dentista, for example. It's a good idea, don't take uh, the teeth. Uh, in your mouth because uh -huh. your uh, head uh, uh, it. uh -huh. it's not a good idea. Okay, it's not a good idea. Okay, very good. Okay, it's, let's stop there, Omarcito. Omar me mencionó algo ahorita y qué bueno que lo haya dicho. Él me dijo, es una buena idea, no. So, cuando usted quiera hacer el negativo, diga así, mire. For example, it's important, but for example, the stomach ache. Oh, mira, es importante que no bebas leche. <laughs> it's important, si yo digo esto, to drink milk, this is incorrect, porque me está diciendo es importante beber leche. But I want to say, es importante que no bebas leche. So, no me vaya a hacer esto. This is don't drink milk. This is incorrect. No, 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 no. You don't have to say this. You have to say this. It's important. Negativo. Mire cómo se pone negativo. Not to. Okay? This is the negative. Primero va el not, después va el tú. If you want to say this one. For example, when Omar said, eh, it's a good idea, okay? It's a good idea not to eat candies. Yeah, because I have a toothache, right? So, it's a good idea not to eat. Así se dice el negativo, okay? In negative using infinitives, right? This is something extra, okay? Because is it, this is... is it... Y si, doctor, eh, eh, teacher, uh -huh. y si decimos de que no se me automedique. Ok. It's a good idea not to take your own, ok, eh, medicine, for example, in this case. Su propia, right? Or, or to use your, or to take your own remedies. In this case, okay, this is common, right? I remember my grandmother. Oh, my grandmother, when I was a child, I had a toothache, and my grandmother took a una planta. I don't remember the name. A, una planta bien común, una flor que había en la casa, right? Y le echó a ruda. Eh, ruda, ruda, una que lleve, que tengan unos gusanos raros ahí, y le echó alcohol y me decía, open your mouth, open your mouth, y, yo, ¡Ah! y me ardía la boca, me dolía, traje el diente, but that was a home remedy, so it's a it's good idea. Verme. Sí, ajá, eh, y también me buscaban algo, una rama que se llamaba tempate. So it's a good idea not to take your own remedies. Pero el tempate, sí. teacher, el tempate es para el fuego. Para el para dormir, el dolor me decían que me dormí. No, el tempate es para el no, fuego. Para el fuego lo usan bastante para los labios, right? You see, there are people, there are people that they they don't know, eh, they don't know sometimes. So that's why it's a good idea not to use or not to take your own, okay, remedies, okay? Eso es como no automedicarse o auto, a darse sus propios remedios, okay? That's it. So this is when you say negatives, but here I want you to focus in these three. Vamos a jugar con esos tres. It's important, ajá, ask me. Question. Go ahead. 
the negative form is for is the same for the three case. Yeah, for example, it's important not to. It is sometimes helpful not to. It's a good idea not to. Okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. It is like that. Okay? That's it. So, uh, in your WhatsApp group, you have the conversation. Okay? You have a conversation there. And what you are going to do right now, guys, is in these 20 minutes, is to practice, okay, using uh, some problems, okay? For example, here uh, we have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send to you this part. Excuse me, I'm going to take the picture right now. So you can have it in your WhatsApp. And if you see, there are problems here. And there are some advice on your right. Sore throat, take some vitamin C, put some ointment, this is pomada, okay, ointment on it, drink lots of liquids, go to bed and rest, put a heating pad on it, heating pad viene siendo aquí como un parche león, <laughs> calientes, right, okay. Put it under cold water, take some aspirin, see a dentist, see a doctor, get some medicine. So, look at these health problems and choose several pieces of good advice for each problem. It is not just one. It could be different uh, options, okay? But I want you to do, guys, is to work in pairs with your partners and match Let, uh, the, the number one with the corresponding letters. Pero a la hora de decirlo, me tiene que usar, okay? For, for example, si Omar está trabajando con Beatriz, si Omar le pregunta a Beatriz, Beatriz, what should I do for a sore throat? And si Omar responde, oh, it's important to drink lots of liquids, for example, if that is the answer, okay? So the idea is to make the sentences, but using the expressions that we are practicing. It's important to, it's sometimes helpful to, and it's a good idea to. Okay. Um, do you have any questions with the exercise? The idea is to match number the column on your right on your left with the column on your right. When you find the solution for the health problem, you make the sentences using the expressions that we have. What which expressions, teacher? The three expressions that we have just studied. Okay. Accept the invitation, please, because you're gonna be working with your partners right now. You have about like, sure. yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. me, me da permiso de moverme. Eh, moverse como, mister. Eh, salir eh, por un momento. Por, ah, yeah. okay, okay, no problem. Okay, okay. go ahead. Mm It's important to get a drink, lot of liquid. O podría ser otra. There are different options, okay? So mm -hmm. don't don't feel like uh, with problem with that. There are different options, but this is a, mm -hmm. this is one, the one that you said, Beatriz. This is okay. one. Mm -hmm. Okay, veamos. 
Podría ser también. It's a good idea to take. It's, a, it's important to get some medicine. ¿Cuál me dijo? No, 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 no. Take some aspirin. Sí. To, to put some uh, ointments on it. To drink lots of liquids. Todas esas. Ok. Ok. Let's start then. Uh, you, you ask or I ask you? Como sea. Okay, I ask, what should I do for a sore throat, Joanna? Um, sore throat, the last de garganta. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Oyman, yes. ¿Qué, ¿Qué era esa? Put some oyman on his. Eh, ponerse pomada. Ah, pomada, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya la última vez. Eh, what should I do for a flu? <laughs> eh. It's important uh -huh. get some medicine, medicine or take some vitamin C. Vitamin. Vitamin C. Very good. Check your answers okay. once again. Check your answers once again and then we are ready to check. Okay? Okay. Fever. Yeah. A tooth change? Toothache. 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 Very good. Toothache. 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 Quemada. Ah, quemada. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A born. Yeah. Ah, it yes. is. Ointment on it. Put. Put. What? Put some ointment. Ointment. Uh -huh. Put some. Letter. Uh -huh. Letter B. Letter right? B. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, porque aquí no dice poner tomate. Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> And the flu. Some people do that. The flu. Uh -huh. La gripe. And Take the some vitamin C. Uh -huh. Vitamin. Vitamin. Ah, uh -huh. take vitamin some C. vitamin C. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. now that you have the answers, now I want you to give me the, for example, ya there you start. What should I do? Okay, Ceci, what should I do for a cough? And you, Ceci, you give me the answer, but using the expressions that we uh, uh, studied. It's okay. important to, or it's a good idea to, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Okay. 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 okay, practice, please. Okay. Um, solo, solo, quiero ver en... Some ointment. Uh, ointment, uh, onion. Que es como pomadita. Pomadita, ajá. Uh -huh. What should I do for, uh, for the flu? Flu. Flu, ¿qué es? Uh, it's important to take some vitamin C. Vitamin, uh, vitamin, vitamin, uh -huh. vitamin C. La gripe, the flu. Yes. Okay. Um, drink lots of of liquids. Oh, very good. Um, it's a good idea. Go to bed and rest. To 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 go. Go to to go. Excellent. To go to bed and rest. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. What about for the fever? What should I do for a fever? It's important uh, see a doctor. It's important. Te estás comiendo algo importante. Go to, to bed. 
to go. To go. <laughs> to go. Very good. Uh -huh. Very to go good. to see a doctor. Uh -huh. and to, go to see a doctor. Give me other, please. Mm. What you are doing for a... Uh, it's, imp it's important to go to the bed and rest. And rest, uh-huh. Very good. So, antes del verbo, todos los verbos que tienen ahí en la columna donde dice advice, pónganme del to. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the, in, the, in the platform, when you do the exercises, you have to do it. If you don't do it, that's going to be a mistake, okay? okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Continue practicing because we are about to, to check the answers. Thank you. Okay. In the stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake? Uh-huh. What do you have in the stomach cake? Oh, we don't have a stomachache, <laughs> headache. <laughs> <laughs> we have backache, toothache, and headache. Ah, ah sorry, mm -hmm. a toothache. Ah, toothache, uh-huh. <laughs> toothache. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, Beatriz, go ahead. Uh, what's the meaning, what's the really meaning of put a hidden part of on, on it? On it. Es como, ajá, es como poner un paño. Parche, un paño, pero, pero, pero no, es como un, un pad viene siendo como un, es como un parche león, un parche de algo así caliente. Mm. Ajá, que eso vendría siendo como la solución de la backache. Ok, backache, the heating pad. Del backache. Uh -huh. Nosotros lo habíamos puesto como solución de fiebre. Ah, pero ese es este, el, oh, no. el ¿cómo se llama? De agua. Mm. Ajá, yeah. es que es como una almohadita térmica. Uh -huh. esa, esa ayuda bastante para, para los dolores de espalda. Uh -huh. Heating pads. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. okay. Porque da calor. Y uh -huh. si usted tiene fiebre, no puede poner algo caliente. Uh -huh. Ajá, por eso es heating pad. Una almohadita, una almohadilla térmica es como viene siendo en El Salvador como comprar un parche. ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y se lo ponen en, en los dolores de, de espalda. Sí. Ajá. Okay. So, this is the answer for the backache. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. So, for example, what should I do for a backache? It's a good idea to... Put a heating pad on it. On it. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nice. Okay. Do you have all the answers? Almost. Yeah. Almost. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Go ahead. I'll give you two more minutes. Okay. So hurry up. Okay. It's sometimes helpful to take some aspirin. Can you repeat the other, please? Okay. Okay. It's uh, okay. It's sometimes helpful to take some aspirin. Okay. It's sometimes helpful to. To, okay. To take. Uh -huh. okay. To. Don't forget the to. Aquí la clave es ponerle el to, okay? If, if, if when you do the exercises in your platform, make sure you add the to. To get, if you don't to type get. it, it's going to be a mistake, okay? That's okay. it. Okay. For example, Ceci, what should I do for the flu? Uh, you, uh, it's important to get some medicine, for example. Okay, okay, very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, once again, um, what should I do for a toothache? Toothache. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. it, uh, it's a good idea to uh, visit doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, to visit the see dentist, dentist or to see a dentist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. dentist. Very good. Excellent. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to check the answers in the main session. Okay, we're going to come back. Thank you. Okay. Okay.
Okay, guys, now that we have practiced, we're gonna check the answers, okay? We're gonna check the answers together. I'm gonna share, okay, um, the, the slide once again, okay? But now what you're gonna do is to give me the expressions, okay? So I will ask for two volunteers, okay? Um, and then we are going to, we're going to listen to your, to your partners, okay? For example, let's see the number one, a sore throat, okay, and that by Cecilia, you start asking the question, and Yader, you give me the answer, please. Okay, Yadel, uh, what should you do for a sore throat? Okay, um, it's a good idea to, it's a good idea to drink a lot of liquid. Okay, it's a good idea to drink lots of liquids. Very good. Remember, there are different um, uh, pieces of advice, okay? It's not just one, okay? Very good. Joanna, please, and Hugo. Number two, cough. Joanna, you ask the question and Hugo, you give me the answer. Okay. What should I do for a cold? Mm -hmm. Cough. Cough. I'm sorry. Okay. okay, okay. It's a good idea to put some... It, sorry. Okay. It's a good idea to idea? put some... Oh, idea is... It, is a good idea idea <laughs> is a good idea excellent idea to put some ointment on it okay ah for the cough mm, but in this case yes there is a problem porque el, el remedio para una tos no es poner bueno como remedio casero que es así right una pomada but in this case no que podemos poner aquí for cough somebody has the answer um, get some medicine. Get some medicine. Uh -huh, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a good idea to take, to get some medicine. Okay, very, very okay. good. Or uh, for a cough, maybe to uh, it's important to drink lots of liquids. This could be another uh, chance. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Andrea, number three, Edgar. Okay, what should you do for a uh, vacate? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Oh, let me check. <laughs> um, it's, it's sometimes uh, helpful uh, to to put a uh, headphone paste on it. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Can you repeat the answer, Edgar? It's a good idea. Uh, it's a good idea to put a. Uh, Heating pad on it. Ah, heating. Heating, excuse me. Heating pad. <laughs> I'm heating sorry, pad. I couldn't listen. It's heating pad on it, okay? Very good. What about fever, Beatrice? What should I do? Uh, what should you do for a for a for a fever? It's a good idea to put it uh, under cold water. Okay, okay, very good, very good. A toothache, okay, what should I do for a, a what should you do for a um, toothache, Jennifer? Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat? Yes, yes. what should you do for a toothache? Uh, it's important to go to see a dentist. Okay, excellent. Omar, what should you do for a bad headache? Hello, Omar. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Okay. Hi, Omar. Okay. What should you do for a bad headache? It's important to bed and rest. Oh, very good. To go to bed and rest. Very good. Uh, Karina Hernandez, what should you do for a burn? For a burn? Mm -hmm. um, it's important. Mm -hmm. Important? Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Me trabó el teléfono. Ok, ok. To put some onion on it. Eh, ointment. Ointment. Ok, es eh, la pomada. Ok, very good. To put some ointment on it. Very good. And the flu, Beatriz. What about the flu? What should you do for the flu? For the flu. Um, it's important to take some vitamin C. Oh, vitamin. Vitamin. It's important to take some vitamin C. Excellent. Okay. Very, very, very good. That's it. So you see, guys, this is another way you can or give recommendations. Okay. You can express, in this case, um, recommendations using not only should, but using the expressions, it's important to... Okay, it's a good idea too. Okay, it's sometimes helpful too. Something important and something that you don't have to forget is to use too. Okay, because this is the, the point here. Okay, do the exercises in the platform. Okay, section number two, do the exercises related to the class today. And if you have some problems, I can assist you via WhatsApp. Okay, questions? Comments for tonight's class? No? No. Oh, okay, very good. I'm more than glad, okay? Because that means that you understood. <laughs> if not, send me a WhatsApp, okay? I'm going to help you then, okay? Thank you for joining the class tonight, guys. See you tomorrow at 9 o'clock, okay? See you good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.